I'm Denise Densai and welcome to The Score. And today we're joined by the Ateneo Lady Eagle Volleyball Legends. I'm so privileged to be in the, you know, the presence of such legends today. Thank you. So this is like a reunion of all sorts, pero simula na natin. We have the queen. First and foremost, yung nagsimula, Ate Charo Soriano, Madam Charo. You know, how was it like, you know, the UAAP season 80, season 66, your rookie year, where you also won the rookie of the year. Pero kamusta naman yung atmosphere for the UAAP back then? Kamusta naman yung nagka-calculate talaga lahat ng tao kung ilang taon ako noon at ilang taon ako ngayon. Season 66, yes. Um... It was a super memorable year for me because I was still contemplating where to go and um, when I tried out for Ateneo, there wasn't any recruitment yet then, um, not unlike today. No? And then when, we, when I tried out there, I found out that a lot of my friends from high school are also trying out. We were like seven rookies that year, so for me, that formed, um, that's the start of my Ateneo family and until now we're still pretty much the same family as before and that I think is one of the best things in this team regardless. So even if you've been teammates before, you're still pretty much family today. So but how was the competition, like the competitiveness from your rookie year and now you're seeing the young bloods nowadays? Well, during our time also, we, had, uh, we were seven in our batch and we played against a lot of veteran yeah. players like the Koyu Kwang from UST, Penetrante from La Salle, and um, a lot of other good players as well. Alarka from, from La Salle also. And uh, they were very competitive, but I cannot, I cannot also discount the fact that today's volleyball uh, competition is much more scientific. There's a lot more strategies involved. I see a lot of um, patterns already that are emerging that have not been there from the onset. But again, the base and the foundation of volleyball is still there. It's still the willingness to win, the heart of the player to win, and of course, the, the strength of, of the team in itself. So, there. But after you came the Fab Five, and now yes. we're joined by two of the Fab Five, Zihar Basho and Jem Ferrer. So, kailangan talaga may applause. Now, from um, during Ate Charo's time, they said it was a prelude to a bigger, bigger things for the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Now, coming into your time, your rookie year, how was that like now? Um, during our rookie year, that was the um, very first time that Ateneo started um, a recruitment program. Um, we were the very first ones. Even our coach was part of our batch, Coach Roger Gurayan. Oh Hi, Coach! <laughs> And yun nga, tawag namin batchmates, um, that was the first time the school gave out 100% scholarships to the athletes, um, free dorms, and um, allowances for some also. Um, so that was the time, siguro, na everybody felt na, okay, Ateneo came here not just to participate, but to also win. And that time, um, it was very clear that we had the goal to enter the podium. Rookie year kami nun. Oh my God, Jen. <laughs> Pero yun na, sure. na. But aside from that, you guys were coined Fab Five. That was when, I guess... Television was becoming more and emerging. more emerging, emerging, plus social media. So how were how was your fan base? I guess that my my you got a term coined the Fab Five, and until now it's still being repeated and said you made history basically. Yes. Well, actually, before during our rookie days, nairapan pa nga kami ano eh, humakot ng mga manonood para sa amin. Kami pa yung, uy, nood ka, we have free tickets. And then, ah, ito, namimigay pa yeah. ng free tickets. And then, nung patagal ng patagal, gumaganda na yung volleyball program dito sa bansa natin. Parang sila na yung, may ticket ba kayo kami? Wala na, sorry. So, bumaliktad. Kasi kami rin, wala ng tickets eh. So, parang natuwa kami kasi talagang nag-improve yung volleyball dito sa Philippines. What do you think changed that, that landscape of volleyball? Na parang... Suddenly, you guys were being talked about. Suddenly, everyone wanted to watch it. What do you think became the catalyst? Um, definitely, it's the media. Uh, thanks to you guys. Like, uh, totoo naman eh, ABS-CBN. Before I was Studio 23, um, everybody could watch. <laughs> How about you? How about you? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, definitely it's television. Um, everybody could watch volleyball from their homes, and now there's ano people abroad pa through TFC, and now it's online. So it's definitely media. It's ano um, getting the people, the general public, to see, to watch volleyball, and eventually to understand the sport. Pero paano kayo natawag na Fab Five? 
Paano nga ba? <laughs> oh, we, oh my God, yun din pala. Fun fact. We were just, yung Fab Five na yun was five out of the other five seniors in the team. So during our rookie year, sampu lang kami. Yes. <laughs> so talaga rebuilding, rebuilding um, time yun for Ateneo. So five uh, veterans. It was Bea Pascual, Steph Gabriel, um, Ortega, Pisha yeah. Kimpo, Avril Pahe. And Kara Acevedo, the rookie of the year prior to us coming to the team. And then the rest, five rookies. So imagine the pressure na, oh, ano nga, podium finish, uh, final four, ah. Ganon, kagad. Oh, diba? Pero I'm sure a lot of memories talaga with all of that happening. So after the Fab Five came the, the Beshies. <laughs> yun, yun na yun. Team Besh! Team Besh! Oh, team Besh. Oh and we have Ella Desus and of course, Eliza oh. Valdez. So ito na, parang so far, in this batch, you guys um, are the youngest. It's in this batch. In this in batch. batch. Because <laughs> alam ko, of course, tinatawag na mga batch ngayon, kayo yung mga ate nila eh, talagang. They really look up to you. So from the rebuilding stage of the Fab Five to uh, the golden age of Team Besh, kamusta naman yung naging transition nun? Well, kasi nung pumasok kami sa Ateneo, Alex Lizzy, sabi nga nila, di ba, established na yung recruitment program nun. So, may program na talaga when we entered. So, training na lang talaga. Tapos, yun, pumasok na kami sa finals nun. So, yung program talaga nun, medyo high na yung level ng volleyball program sa Ateneo. And sa ano din, sa, sa bansa natin na madami nang nanonood. Ibang-iba na talaga sa dati. Sa time ni Ate Cha. <laughs> <laughs> talaga sa dati, okay? For oh, yeah. what, for all of you, what made you want to be an Ateneo Lady Eagle? Ako, honestly, I think for everyone, siguro. Dream school ko rin talaga kasi Ateneo. So, I, I entered Ateneo, I chose Ateneo because of the education that uh, the Ateneo is offering, it was offering back then. And I didn't know na I'll, I'll form a new family then with, with the team. So, yun talaga, one of the greatest blessings siguro na natanggap ko buong volleyball ko is being part of the Ateneo. Mm. Community. Uh. Not just volleyball, <laughs> but community. Grabe, okay. Well, when we come back, we're not yet done looking back at some of the adventures and stories of our Lady Eagles. So, stay right here. Hindi naman sila mahirap i-coach, di ba? Wala namang masyadong nangyari. Pero mahirap siya na coach Naging coach. Hindi yes. naman. Pag nagkakamali kami, back-to-back -back errors, di ba? Oh, Kailangan spend... perfect talaga. Oh, Wait, Wait pero no tayo. room for errors. Grabe. Yeah. Akala, Akala niya hindi siya nagagalit, pero grabe. Hindi naman ako nagagalit. Yeah.